Hey guys, I'm um, making this short video just to show you how to troubleshoot your Apple TV. So if your Apple TV is not working correctly or um, you're not getting that AirPlay button on your iPhone, iPad or iPod, um, you basically have to test it out if your Wi-Fi is turned on on your Apple TV and your home sharing. So I'm just going to show you. We're going to go into settings, so that's the first thing we want to do. So here's settings. So we want to go into there. And from there, we're going to set everything up. So make sure your iTunes store, just set that up. Put on your email, that's your Apple ID, okay? Uh, same thing for your iCloud. So make sure that's all set up. I'm just going to go into it right now. Um, so all this, make sure that it's all set up, okay? And then we're just going to go back on it, okay? Um, then what you want to do is go to AirPlay option right there, and you want to make sure that that's on. If it's off, then that's why you're not getting the AirPlay option on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, okay? Um, so that may just solve that, your whole problem. If you still don't see your AirPlay button on your iPad, that looks like this. I'll show you right now. So I'm just going to swipe up. So with iOS 7, you should see AirPlay right there, okay? If you don't see that, then that means it's still not working. Um, so you just have to click on that and then click on Apple TV and then you can AirPlay whatever you like. Okay, if you have an iPhone 3GS or something like that, AirPlay doesn't really work that well. So just be aware of that. Um, okay, so once you've done the AirPlay, go to computers. Okay, so here's the option for computers. We're going to click on that and turn on home sharing. Okay, so my home sharing is on. Once you're done with your home sharing, you can actually download an app. So you don't need your remote control. You can... Uh, control your Apple TV with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, okay? Um, the remote is actually called Remote. Just look it up on App Store, and it looks like this. So this on my iPad, and it looks like this. It's very simple. Um, you just click, just click on that to go back, and that's about it. I do have a whole separate video uh, showing you guys a bit more on that. However, this is just to troubleshoot your um, AirPlay if it's not working, or your Apple TV in general. Okay, um, next, what you want to do is just scroll up. And go into general. Once you're in general, okay, make sure your network's connected to your Apple TV. So your iPhone or iPad or Apple Touch um, should be connected to the same Wi Fi, okay? In this case, my Apple TV, I connected it up through Ethernet cable. Um, it's the same thing. You can connect it through your Ethernet cable or your Wi Fi, but just make sure everything's working. Uh, you can do a test network on it, okay? I'm not going to do it right now since it's working fine, but um, do it if you're not sure. You can also test out if you're connected to the internet just by uh, clicking on any app actually <laughs> and playing any video. Uh, if it's not, then it's not going to load anything. Um, okay, software update. That's also going to fix some issues. So just go into it and um, right now my update automatically is on. You can have that on or off. However, if you have it off, I do suggest turning it on. So that's the second option. Let me just highlight that. Okay. So if you have that on, you should be fine. Um, even if it's on, click on this. Okay. Software update. Click on it. And it's going to look for any software updates that your Apple TV might have. I know some people by accident, they just um, avoid some updates when they're watching it. It's understandable. However, if you forget to do that, some things might go wrong, okay? So it's always good to update your stuff with Apple. Um, apart from that, just restart it, okay? And uh, if you're really having problems, just reset the whole thing. So just click on that. I'm just going to go into it so you can see. And just, you know, reset all settings. And um, it's not just about that. You want to restore the whole thing. If you're having major issues, just not working, just restore it. Um, okay, apart from that, guys, um, you do want to see that your router and modem is working correctly. So just go over to your modem and disconnect it, and over to your router and disconnect it as well. Leave that off for five minutes, then connect first your modem. Okay, you have to reconnect that and then your router. So you want to connect that over. Once your um, modem, they usually have lights. Once all the lights are on, then connect your router. Uh, check out your internet connection if it's working fine. So just, you know, uh, go to your computer, log into your Wi-Fi, and uh, see if web pages are working. 
from that um, your Apple TV should work and your AirPlay should work as well once again I'll just show you quickly the AirPlay option on an iPad it's the same thing on an iPhone or iPod okay there it is and don't forget to download the remote that you can download on your iPad or iPhone um, just go to the App Store it's called remote it's totally free and check that out if it's working okay now your home sharing you should always activate that just to help you out with all the syncing in your house so you can just go into computers and see if that's um, working well so there's computers so I'm just gonna go into that and there it is um, then you can actually share stuff with your um, Apple TV so if you have movies on your MacBook then you can just see them from here as long as your MacBook's on right now my MacBook's off so that's why I can't see anything so don't forget the two major things is AirPlay and computers so as long as you have these two things on you're good and all set up you're good um, iTunes Store and iCloud also important but not as important as computers and AirPlay okay so if uh, this didn't solve your problem uh, right here below in the comment section I'll try to help you out and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you